Close your eyes, watch your breath. Tell yourself that this right now is the most important thing to do, is to look after your mind. As we go through the day, we take on lots of other responsibilities, and the mind sometimes gets run ragged. And you have to look after your mind the same way you look after your body. If you're just working, working, working 24-7, the body would break down. That's the same with the mind. We think that it gets some rest when it sleeps, but even when it's sleeping, it's dreaming about this, that, and the other thing. It's not really quiet. And when it's quiet in sleep, it's not the kind of quiet that actually builds the strength of good qualities in the mind, which meditation can do. So it's not only resting, but you're also exercising. You're exercising your mindfulness, you're exercising your discernment, your alertness, all kinds of good qualities to keep the mind right here. So give the mind a place to rest, gather its strength, because it needs its strength as it goes through the day and as we go through life. Of course, the day you're going to be meeting up with lots of difficult people sometimes, difficult situations. As you go through life, you've got your own aging, illness, and death that you've got to face. So you've got to be prepared. As I would have said, all good qualities come, come from heedfulness, realizing that there are dangers out there, but we can prepare for the dangers through our own actions, through our own skills, so we don't have to suffer from them. It's like a person going into the woods. You learn about the dangers, not to scare you away from going into the woods, but to remind yourself, okay, if you're careful about this or careful about that, you increase your chances of survival. If you get careless, you get wounded. You're out there in the middle of the woods, who's going to help you? So you have to look after your actions very carefully. I know a woman who was up on Axel Heiberg Island for a month, and as the plane dropped her off and flew away, she began to realize she had to take care, of, very good care of herself, because the earliest they'd be able to pick her up, if she sent in a distress signal, would be about 24 hours. So she couldn't even stumble, twist an ankle, anything simple like that, to be very, very careful. When we go through life, it's the same sort of thing. There are some things that doctors can help us with and other people can help us with, but a lot of things going on in our mind, we have to take care of ourselves. Nobody else can do it for us. And yet society tends to pull our attention away from those things, but we've got to look after them ourselves. Because the way you deal with greed, aversion, and delusion when they come up, it's going to make a huge difference in the survival of your goodness or not. And even if you send out a distress signal, who knows who's going to be able to help you. So remind, remind yourself, we are in a dangerous place. We're in a human mind, in a human world. Both of those posts are dangerous, but as you develop the skills inside, train your mind to be more alert, more mindful, you'll be able to handle them with finesse. 